Lakini ebu siku hili utakosa kuja Basi utaona The weakness ya watu wabao Wako in the body Na wale wabao wako in the spirit Na Siku kama ya leo ni muhimu sana Ikiwa na watu wabao wanajua Rea their responsibility kazi zao za kufanya wakajue siku ya leo ni gani kule kotini kuna siku ya judgment kuna siku ya kusikilizi wa kesi upande wa mashtaka wanatoa mashtaka yao naye mshtakiwa ana anaulizwa huko na kesi ya kujibu anasema huko eh, na jambo la kusema anasema ndio niko nalo hayaeleza yule hakimu anaandika tu basi anasema utakuja uh, siku fulani kwa uamuzi wa kesi yako sasa mahakama ni kule wale amjui mahakama anachukua kwa ushahidi ana value mshahidi namba 1 alisemaji namba 2 alisemaji namba 3 alisemaji na mshtakiwa amesema namna gani kuhusu jambo hilo sasa analete huo ushahidi ana balance wakati watu wanatoa ushahidi yeye huwa anaangalia sio tu maneno hata anaangalia attitude ama character za mtu huyo kama ni maneno ametengeneza ama ni maneno aliyaona basi anaandika hapo sikusomea hiyo kasi but ninafikiria hivyo Nayo siku kama ya leo ni siku ambayo inakuwa ya judgment. Judgment ya kumaanisha nini? Judgment ya kufunga wiki. Sababu wiki imeisha sasa tunaingia wiki nyingine. Sasa hiyo wiki ya jana iliisha kazi zake zimemalizika. Sasa leo ndio handing over of the file. Tutaenda hivyo paka mwisho wa mwezi wa moja Faili ya November itakuwa handed over Tutaingia ya December Sasa siku za mwisho nae kwa mungu kutakuwa na, na wamuzi Inasema kila mtu watajibu kulingana na matendo Ata hukumiwa kulingana na matendo yake aliyotenda Bwana wabariki hapo nyumbani kwa sababu ya kuwa na nafasi hii Nataka kufundisha vitu kadha wa kadha Na natafuta mtu hapa na huko nyumbani mtu wa ambaye yuko tayari kwa upgrade kwa upgrade ni kwamba amesomea diploma na sasa anataka kupata degree kwa hivyo ataenda shule asome tena dio upgrade hiyo nayo katika ulimwengu wa kiroho kuna hiyo anga kuna permission ya anga hii na kuna permission ya anga ingine na kuna permission ya kuwa muhubiri not every some sio kila mtu anahubiri ame qualify some of them are not qualified lakini kwa sababu ya msukumo wa maisha wamejiita ama wametoka kabla wakati sababu to my knowledge is that hakuna uh, kanisa Yesu anaweza kufungua ifungwe na shetani ama muganga ama whatever na Yesu akamwambia Paulo Ondoka hapa, hapa hakuna mtu anaweza kukusikiliza 
na mahali pengine akamwambia kata matendo ya mitume hapa usiodoke maana hapa niko na watu wengi hapa niko na watu wengi ambao watasikiliza wewe na wakati yule Paulo alikuwa anaenda akawa naomba maandiko inasema roho wa Mungu roho wa Yesu akamwambia usiige hapa usiende huku Mesia usiende huku Makedonia usiende huko na akiwa pale maandiko inasema akaona mtu akiwa Makedonia akimfungia mkono jo na usikawie jo Ulimwengu wa kiroho ni kama hii tu lakini wao wako so superior wanaweza kutoa access sisi but sisi ni wadogo sana kwa access spiritual mad things sisi ni wadogo hatuwezi kuona vitu vya kiroho kwa sababu wao wako above ni vile tu uwezi kujua mama yako alizaliwa namna gani akiwa msichana alikuwaje lakini mtoto wako anaweza kuona hiyo lakini mama yako huwezi kuona sababu alikuwa hauku wako sasa ulimwengu wa kiroho waliku wako kabla sisi na diposa wanaweza kutoa access wanaweza kuona our tomorrow wanaweza kuona wewe 2011 2022 wanaweza kukuona sababu hii yetu ikitendeka yao ilikuweko yetu hii mnaona hapa Nairobi ilikuwako na diposa bwana akantuma kutoka Mombasa nije Nairobi ilikuwako hii kiwanja hata nikiwa gerezani ilikuweko hii kiwanja hata nikiwa kwa tumbo ya mama yangu kiwanja hii ilikuweko na ilikuwa uamuzi sasa two things can happen kwa makosa ya mtu huyu inaweza badilishwa epewe mtu mwingine kwa makosa ya kutojua kwa mtu huyu inaweza kuwa diverted lakini akiwa na knowledge anaweza kuipossess anaweza kuichukua tena kuna zile vitu Mungu amewekea mtu na kuna zile mtu ataongeza abazo hazijulikani Yesu Kristo akaulizwa na mtu mmoja aitwa Jailo katika Matthew 9 njoo mwanangu ni mgonjwa nina mtu mgonjwa na karibu kufa Yesu alipokuwa anaenda kuna mwanamke mmoja alikuwa anavuja damu Matthew 9:20 Huyu mwanamke alisha jitayarisha unaweza chukua vitu ambazo hazuhauja adikiwa Yesu hakuwa na habari ya huyu hakuwa kwa program ya safari yake Yesu alikuwa anaenda kuponya huyu mtu kwa jailo ama huyo mtu mgonjwa Sasa mama huyu akasema kwa moyo wake Nikifika nitachukshika guo yake na ninajua Nitaponywa Sasa Yesu akasikia nguvu zimetoka Sasa anauliza ni nani amenikuza hapa Nasema unaweza kachukua vitu zingine nyingi ambazo haziko kwa kompyuta yako ya kiroho. Yesu akamwambia nenda imani yako imekuponya. Nataka kuongea hapo mambo ya chukua karamu yako kama huko hapo nyumbani na wahubiri mutilie maanani jambo hili. Vitu sita ambazo zinaweza kuwa kukusaidia kuigia ama ku receive the message ama kukua ama ku upgrade your spirit in the spiritual world wakikuona na hizi vitu wataanza kukuangalia number one ni faith imani yako ikishoot unaanza kuonekana imani yako ikiingia unaanza sasa kutabulika kuna mtu anakuja somebody is coming number two kukubali kwako kukubali i agree nani ataenda nitaenda kukubali kwako wataanza kuona kuna mtu pale amekubali number three. kukili confessing the 
the Lord confessing I want this number four receiving Lord I receive Lord I receive this number five paying the price kulipa garama kulipa garama hiyo number sita learning kusoma hiyo kusoma hiyo kuisomea kuigo dipre wakati mutumishu wa buwana anapo ogea lasima mio ya watu ya mini lasima mio ya watu ya mini lasima mtu huyu akubali lasima mtu huyu akiri lasima mtu huyu aseme Lord I receive I receive confessing ni kukili but the word I receive let it come to me confessing kukiri na kuipokea na pokea ninaachilia watu kuinuliwa na pokea ninaachilia watu kubarikiwa i receive mtu aseme mwaka huu nitakuwa mshindi mwaka huu nitakuwa mshindi as a spiritual matter the spirit will come those ones has the spirit wakati zimenenwa kwako zikinene wa kwako zina land receiving ni number 4 ninaachilia wa mwisho mpya lord i receive it now i like people of nigeria and i like some people in america and i like some people in south africa they know how to go with the priest akisema lift up your hands and scatter If you go to the TV Joshua and some other areas utaona neno lake vile linafanya kazi Nimeangalia kwa television nikaona wale watu wanajua how to practice the word of their priest Hata TV Joshua akitoka Hakuna mtu utoka kwa sababu ametoka sababu amewacha amepeana instruction Only maybe difference ni kwamba mimi nitahudumu hapa yeye yeah, anahudumu mandi saa ya ibada anahubiri labda watu kama tano kumi then hawa wengine anawahudumia mandi lakini hapa i mix one, two, three. lakini akitoka yeye yeah, watu hawatoki sababu wana practice ile kitu amesugumuza number five ni paying the price watu wanataka kuwa matajiri have you paid the price of that watu wanataka kuwa wahubiri have you paid the price of that watu wanataka kufanya miracles have you paid the price of that it can't happen miraculous no 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 there must be mitume walikaa na Yesu miaka tatu walikaa na Yesu miaka mitatu akienda akifudisha 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 sasa mpaka siku moja akawatuma mwende katika Luka 10 mwende mka mwende akawatuma kule alikuwa akienda wale wakaenda na wakarudi Yesu akawaambia meonaji Luka 10:17 wakasema tumio tu, tume, tumia jina lako mapepo zikatoka Yesu akawaambia niliona shetani akiaguka sasa hapo Yesu akaona wame access power to use the name sasa Pito Petero ata, ataenda baadaye ataambia mtu eh, sina kitu lakini kwa jina la Yesu simama sababu alipokea permission uwezo ya kutumia jina la Yesu how many people watu wagapi katikati yenu ambao wanajua wameruhusiwa kutumia jina la Yesu Watu wanachukua Biblia wanawekelea watu ati wanatoa mapepo Wengine wanachukua Biblia wanawekelea watu ati wanatabiri Biblia hii mtu anawekelewa kichwa 
na hii imeandikwa na watu tu hata si waokovu hii ni wafanyikazi waliandika tu makampuni zina print shida iliyoko ni katika namba 5 watu hawajalipa gharama hiyo nilikuwa naenda golila Six days siku tatu za kwanza sikunywa maji sababu nilikuwa nikaliko kijana siku tatu za mwisho ninakunywa maji kidogo sana naondoka saturday na nikija kanisa bado halibadiliki ilikuwa tu na watu 18 20 30 100 lakini the more niliendelea the more nika qualify wanafanyaka mtu vetting wakavet anaweza huyu kweli ni mzuri sasa ikafika mahali sasa siendi huku basi nikaja Nairobi nilikaa hapa 10 years bila kufuga hata siku moja tena wakaniregesha shule sasa wakasema sasa umemaliza muhura wa kwanza sasa ingia muhura wa pili sasa muhura wa pili ni wa international na international ni lazima kwanza umalize Jerusalem nimeenda Kisumo nimeenda Bugoma nimeenda Moranga nimeenda Kisi nimeenda Mombasa nimeenda Lamu nimeenda Meru nimeenda Maua nimeenda Nakuru nimeenda Nyaururu nimeenda Naroko Kajiado nimeenda nimeenda Taveta nimeenda Kitui all, all those areas nimeenda Edolet Malis Jada nikitali nimeenda Bugoma nimeenda Busia Then after umeenda hiyo sasa wanakutayarisha sasa kwenda Uganda na Tanzania. All the way sasa unaenda huko juu. Either I can go or people will start coming. Na wakati nchi inakaa inakurukia wewe eh, two way can happen. Moja ndio wakukatae Jerusalem walipokataa nabii kwao huwa has, hapokelewi. Nabii kwao huwa hapokelewi. That's number one. Ili uweze kutoka. Maana ukikubalika kawangware hapa utashindwa kisukuka vile nimesukuka the whole year. Two years nimekuwa hapa I have no gone here. Nimeishi hapa tu nikisukuka hapa kijiji kagurue tu kwenda hapa hapa. Lakini wakikataa roho yako itakuwa forced to go outside. Na kule wakikubali sasa utaingia huko. Inaendaga hivyo ni kamtego paying the price and learning kusoma kujua hiyo ni nini kusoma kujua what is the meaning of deliverance ministry of deliverance inafanya kazi namna gani how can i start kusoma ni wanamuziki wajue what is the cause e, muziki una utafanya nini kama hakuna muziki kuna shida gani kama muziki haukuwa mzuri kuna nini? Muziki ukiwa mzuri kitu gani kitatokea? Elisha akamwambia nipigie kinanda. Roho akaja. Daudi akasema nipe hiyo na Ivera hiyo nivae. Daudi akawa anapigia Sauli kinubi wakati amepagawa. Zile mapepo zikisikia kinubi zinatoka. Makuhani waliobeba saduku la agano walikuwa wanapiga tarumbeta tarubeta Gideon akamwambia wale watu akabeba mienge akawaambia mtakapo na nikipiga mpige is a spiritual connection something to connect spirit to come here and land kwako ili uweze kufanya judgment kimungu unaweza kuwa msugumzaji mzuri sana you can be a very good preacher to preach but you don't know when the spirit is upon you Haujui wakati wa kusema Mungu anasema kwa sababu hauku learn Kulan ni kusemaji ni kukaa chini ya mtu utaona wakati mtu huyu amegeuka amekuwa hivi sasa kwa sababu ulikuwa naye tangu mwanzo kaona pasanganga lazima achukue gita kama achukui gita kuna wakati atakuja igie street kwa mafudisho labda amejitayarisha huko nyumbani Dabda me niko na prayer prayer room kama hii before i come here i do everything in my prayer room 
anything I'm doing here, it is already. Nimekwisha ifanya katika player rumu kwangu. Nimekwisha toa sadaka already. Nimekwisha toa sadaka. Leo nimeabiwa nitoe eh, seven. Uwa natoa thirteen, three, na four. Leo ne, usiku nikaota nitoe saba. Sasa akiliagu kasema nitoe seventy seven thousand. Dio hiyo seventy eight thousand. Sababu nirisikia saba. Sasa siku wabiwa ni za nini Basi ni kaeda ni katoa hiyo Kabla unikuji hapa ni mefanya hiyo Kabla yeso kufugua kanisa Amesha ifugua in the spirit world Sasa shida ile kubwa ni hiyo Wale tunaeda kufugua kanisa Hatuja ifugua kiroho Tunaeda kungangana hapo na mapepo Hapo Wale wanao kuji anyuba hii Tunakuja kusubuana kwa sababu hawaja fanya kazi hiyo nyubani kwao. Lack of understanding. Yemefanya kazi mekua gumu sana kwangu. Lakini mwana mpotevu wa meogea kule. Yaka sema I am going back. And when I go there I will say this and this. Mwana muki anafuja damu. Amesha chalisa kasema nikifika nitafanya hivi. Mutu ambaye anataka kuona mungu. Anaitua sakayo. Amekusha jitalisha. Anakaa juu ya miti. Watu wanao kujia nyumba hii They are total confused There are two things to look at Watu wanao leta mtu huyo kuombewa Wawa na roho gani Watu hawa wakaja wamebeba mtu Wakapadisha mtu mbaka kwa dari juu Wakaena wakabomoa Wakamtelemusha pale Yesu wakasema kwa sababu ya imani yenyu Amuka wewe Jailo anamualika Yesu Kristo kwenda kuponya mgo, mtumishu wake. Watu wakaja wakamwabia, unasubua mwalimu kwa nini? Ule mtu asha aga. Yesu wakamwabia, wachana na hao. Usitirie maanani. Akamwabia sasa, mimi niko na, na watu kwangu, mimi ni mkubwa wa majeshi. Na nikisema jabo ifanyike, nafanyika. Sasa, wewe si sahiri uigie kwangu. Lakini neno lako moja useme. Na mtumwa wangu atapona Watu wabawa mekusta jitalisha Kwa connect is not big deal Watu wabawa mejitalisha kuhama kwa hiyo Niliishi gerezani for 20 years Na nilitamani kutoka Nikaenda baka kwa waganga Mana roho yangu nilitamani kutoka kwa hiyo kitu Siku moja kama leo Nabiwa buwana kanena kwa moya wangu Machozi yangu katoka Nikasema Lord I receive This is my day this is the, the day the Lord has made it for me. I remember 1989. I'll remain with that all the days of my life. What were you prepared? Itategemea wanakuja kwangu kwa jiagani. Wana wanataka permanent connection. I'll give them permanent connection. Wana wanataka token. I'll give you that. Token, whatever you want. Is up to you. Unataka tu kuponywa kichwa. Come here. I promise you utaponywa. Unataka kuponywa kansa. Come here. I promise you utaponywa. But I can't guarantee you. Sababu is a token. Sikuizi istima inawekwa kwa token. Unalipa hiyo. Kimalizika. Kenya power hawaidi kutoa mastima kwa watu sasa. Iyo mishara ya kukatakata walitoa. How to become God's vessel? Tradition na ne. Mwezi wa kumina moja, 2019. Kama hapo nyumbani kuna watu wanasikiliza. God bless you. How to become God's vessel? Number one, love God in true the spirit. Love God in true spirit. True and spirit. True. Yesu wali mwambia mwana mke msamalia. Ali mwabia, tu unaedaka kwa budu kwa minima. Yesu waka mwabia, the day will come, wakati ya bapu hamutaeda kwa minima, mbali mta mwabudu mungu katika haki na kiroho. True and the spirit. You can't be a Christian, then you are using lie spirit to get money. Unadaganyana, diyo pate pesa. Number two, 
become be a prayer warrior be a prayer weapon kuwa siraha ya Mungu ya maombi ufanyike vessel how to become god vessel be a prayer weapon be a prayer weapon number three confessing your sins and the sins of the others if you are god vessel you will confess the other sins of the other people but if you are not the vessel you will just remain with yourself mwanamke huyu msamalia amefanyika god vessel kwa sababu ameenda kuabia watu wengine habari za Yesu Kristo how many people how many people watu wagapi ambao ni god vessel here tutaona watu wagapi mtaleta tutaona watu wagapi hiyo <coughs> mafundisho nilio kufundisha mwaka mzima let us see the result maduka nasema begu ingine inaanguka kwa miti inasongwa begu ingine inaanguka inamea kwa udongo lakini hakuna rutuba ya kutosha inakauka begu ingine inaanguka inaliwa kwa sababu ya kutokuamini shetani anaichukua lakini begu iliyopandwa kwa udongo mzuri Mariko 4 18 inasema inazaa 30 moja. you don't need to tell me who you are the day you join my ministry in period of one year two years i can tell myself who is this you don't tell me to lay my hand on you to be this and this i can nitakwambia tu nitajua katikati yenu i know who i can raise and i know who i can't raise i know nawajua tu ni vile sitaki kukuumiza but i know who are you i can tell you who you mpatie 2 years 3 years atakuwa najua wale ambao katikati yenu wanaweza kuwa na spirit of richness i can tell you through my computer even i can tell you through your dressing i can tell you when i see your vehicle outside even when i'm talking to you habari yako mzuri sana oh spirit yangu itaniambia huyu sasa anakuwa nilisema siku ingine ni kuna watu nitaodoa hapa hata sasa nitarudia kuna watu mimi tafukuza kiroho nitakufukuza kabisa utasikia ukisoma kawagore utasikia kitu umekuingia tu unasoma huko mwiki kanisa ya kwenye huko huko gidhurai huko chini kabisa sababu you are not qualified to be here this is city center you can't be here then you are still a thief unaiba fungura 10 uwezi kubadilika unatupa pesa yako budi unatoka gidhurai unalipa tikiti ya kuja na kurudi nitakupumzisha ukae gidhurai huko hiyo pesa wewe ukule sababu you can't change aiwesiko watatoka all the way from kawangware all the way from naivasha all the way from ranga na unakuja hapo unaenda tena kuiba fungu la 10 what are you earning for unatupa pesa yako ya nini pumzika hapo gidhurai tu soma hapo hiyo kanisa yako dogo hiyo sababu at the end of the day hauwezi kubadilika uwe feso my language you can't understand but me i know myself i know what i'm saying that watu wa kawaida wanaona kama ninafukuza watu lakini inachuja tu sababu wakati mvuvi amelete nyafu nje kuna vitu hakubeba alirudisha but kwa sababu ya knowledge ya siku hizi you just want to attract people to come you don't care spiritual matters kanisa imejaa wafu how can they come and worship god today then tomorrow they are in the grave how because there is some weakness inside nilifanya interview juice pepo ikaja akasema wanashikaka watu kwa sababu hawatoi fungu la 10 nikaambia watu wasimame oh you can't believe it hata wasee wa kanisa some of them nikasema alisema wale watu wako na mabahasha wanachukuaga hiyo ndio tunatumiaga wasibarikiwe in number 3 how to become a god vessel lazima utakuwa ukitubu dhabi zako ujue hivyo na utakuwa ukitubu dhabi za watu wengine baba kuna watu ambao wako kwa tubu la shetani na hata wakatubu wanatubu wakiwa ndani ya tubu la shetani haiwezi kufika kwako 
kuna watu wamemezwa hata saa hizi ni walevi saa hizi wako kwa nyumba saa hizi leo ni jumapili watashida pale wakiuza mwili basi kuwe na mtu atakuja mwambie Mungu kubuka ule mama number four, how to become a god vessel speak the word of god always ukinena neno la Mungu kila wakati Wherever you go the end of that topic you have to speak the word. Let us pray. Let us pray. Every time maandiko yanasema Katika hiyo group mnakaa tu unaangalia wale watu mko nao. Ni watu ambao mnaweza mkasoma Biblia. Then una quote maandiko yanasema. Tusome Biblia leo. Speak the word how to become a god vessel. Leo ni Jumatano, leo ni Aramisi, leo ni Thursday, leo ni Friday, leo nitaenda pale Kawagware hapo stage. Chitwede mwagi, twende tu. Tunashikana madugu watatu. That's how I started this ministry. Nilikuwa naenda na simama mahali peke yangu. Tukapatana na wadugu. Tukawa tunashikana hapo mchana lunch hour. Tukawa tunahubiri pale Mombasa. Lerwi loud about how to become a god vessel you are only god vessel on sunday that's why your ministry is limited because what you are receiving today is just only for your own protection what you are receiving today is only for your own benefit how many hours are you going to be here what wakiwa wasemaji wa neno la mungu spirit in a increase than yao because every word you speak it has a spirit and the part of that spirit will remain in you every good things you are giving part of that good things will remain in you everything good you are giving to people part of that will remain in you as a seed number five nimetoka number four number five leading the bible kusoma biblia kusoma biblia wakati wa Musa Exodus Genesis Leviticus Judges whatever when you read those words there are some spirits which were left there and they can come back wakati unasoma Old Testament unasoma New Testament kuna some spirit zitakuja through this word because every word is a spirit and there are some spirit in the old testament hazikutumika kwa sababu their time was not yet kuna some spirit ziliachwa kwa old testament kwa sababu wakati ulikuwa haujafika na Musa hakuwa wa ulimwengu Musa alikuwa wa just on that na ndio Musa akasema nikiondoka a uh, Mungu atawainulia nabii mwingine. Na ndipo Elijah akienda akasema uh, 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 I'll come back. Na ndipo aliinuliwa Johanna mpatisaji kwa sababu alete some spirit from the Old Testament azilete sasa. Sasa tangu Johanna alipoenda is a long journey. Tangu Musa alipoenda is a long journey. Hizi guo nimevaa nimestoa kwa Biblia dia zilikuwa za Haruni dia zilikuwa za makuhani nikijaribu kulete image hiyo kwa watu kofia dio haijaingia vizuri nikaenda dio nijaribu kulete hiyo spirit kwa watu sababu hawajui ilikuwaje tumeingia kwa pentecost na sasa hatujui kuhani alikuwa namna gani tukijaribu kumtafuta vile alikuwa hatuwezi kuona kwa sababu ulimwegu umeenda sana sasa wakati unasoma biblia usisome tu kwa sababu ya hiyo naenda kuhubiri pasta soma kwa sababu ya akiba yako have the bible verses ukisoma utasikia hii beba unaiklam is a spirit coming in to add more weight in your spiritual utaona saida unahubiri maandiko inasema Luka 11 mstari wa 21 oh inasema hivi Uliisoma ikakaa kwako 
so wakati wa kutumika hautahitaji kukibia kwa Biblia kutafuta msali iko wapi kusoma Biblia wakati unasoma kuna roho itakuja ambayo haikutumika kule unaposoma Biblia una unanoa unanoa mtu wako wa ndani unamfanya sharp hap kuwa na siku ambayo hautaenda popote unakunywa kachai yako na katosi tuwili hapo sababu usisubuliwe na mwili kwenda enda kujisaidia kwenda enda maana ukikaa kaa unaenda kukojoa maana ukikaa kaa unaenda choo maana ukikaa kaa half time you you block those things unazima simu yako unatoka kwa television unatoka kwa hizo sms maana zitakusubua then unakuwa na biblia some three years back nilikuwa na when is then nilikuwa na shida mahali peke yangu so see three years ten years ago nilikuwa nakaa mahali kule kwa nyumba yangu kuna kamuti kalikuwa hapo when is the author nilikuwa na shida hapo na shida hapo nasoma ndio nakuja jioni kwa school of ministry na hapo hakuna simu siku ana simu hakuna tv hakuna so all my mind itakuwa hapo kwa hivyo anything nasoma kwa biblia itakuwa recorded quickly sababu hakuna ati simu nachukua hakuna ati hebu fugua news nione read the bible the more you read the bible the more you go deep in the spirit sababu every word has a spirit of god na uwezi kulipit hiyo neno ubaki bure when you are reading the bible utasikia rudia hapa utaona kia darain that means your scripture imekuwa accepted kwa spirit yako. Number six, help people to come to God. Wasaidia watu kuja kwa Mungu. Wasaidia watu naogea mambo ya spiritual na mambo ya physical. Hawa watu walibeba huyu mtu akampeleka kule juu. Wakateremsha yeye. Basi kuna watu wengine wanaweza lete mtu kutoka Kawangware, Kiroho. Wanaweza pita mahali, waone mahali hapa ni pakavu sana na waulize Mungu afugue kikao pale. Anaweza pita pale Koinange, aone kama leo saa hizi nimepitia hapo. Nimeona watoto wako hapo hapo Kanivu. Wasichana wamelewa, wanakula tu kuna kajiko kamewekwa hapo. Tu, tu, siyo ni tunyama tu wagrue, tu, tu vitu kama mtula mtula hivi tu. Sausage. Nikatembea pole pole ngasema my god. Hawa unawajua kule wako. So wakati umewakumbuka we mtumishi wa Mungu bigu na tilia manani hiyo. Kana wasiana wadogo tumevaa almost nusu. Kana na ujue hata mimi niko na wasiana. Na ujue hata wewe uko na wasiana. Kwa hivyo wakati unasikia hiyo inaweza ikasaidia hata kwako. Help the needy to help people to come to God. Kusaidia watu kujua Mungu. Yesu ameanza kuonekana katika nchi za Arabuni. Kuna Waarabu wameanza kutokezea. Wanasema Yesu aliwatokezea huko. Sababu lazima ihubiriwe. Kama haitahubiriwa, nobody will condemn them. Milango ilifungwa. Hakuna Mkristo anaweza kuingia huko. Sasa Yesu mwenyewe anaonekania na akiwaonekania vile alionekania mimi atabadilisha vitu nyingi sana kule. Sababu milango ilifungwa. Sasa hapa kwetu tuko na freedom. Kuna mahali unaendaka kioski kununua vitu na hivi risadi hui mama haidagi mahali Unaweza kumtebele mwabie nataka leo tusome neno la Mungu Ah mimi sijaokoka mimi mambo ya wokofu sitaki ah sikwabii kuokoka nakwambia tusome neno la Mungu Akisema dio tu ile utaanza kwa maana jinsi Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu watu wote wanajua hiyo Sasa utaanza foundation hapo Roho atakuogosa Ukisha pata kibali kwake hata usimsukume kwa kuokoka hapana Mwambie wacha tu obe tu ndio tabariki kazi yako na usimwitishe sadaka waganga hawa Usiwe na maona ya sadaka kwake sababu amepitiwa na wahubiri wengi sana pale wenye waganga waganga wacha tu obe tunaomba baba naombea nyumba hii na mtumishi wako ni mtumishi wa Mungu kwa sababu umemkubali wewe hata kama ni malaya unamwambia Mungu mtumishi wako How many people you see here nikiwaita watumishi wa Mungu manabii nasema wewe ni nabii sababu hana jina hilo na mimi ni mwana wa Mungu I can give anybody permission any name I can call you 
I can call you rich man, mighty man of God, prophet. Na unashidwa hii ni prophet ganya na muita na 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 mbado diwa mefunguliwa. Sababu is a seed I'm sowing to him. Mtumishu wa buwana alisema mungu wata kutumia na atakubariki when I was in prison. So when I name somebody, haka wapatia fuguo ya biguni na ya hapa duniani. Unaeza hita muhubiri, unaeza hita malaya mtumishu wa mungu. Na kwabie kweda ukuwe na kanisa yako hiyo. Lakini imeigia tu. Ataeda, ataeda, ataeda. Ata siku moja amelewa tu. Ataanza kulia. Mana iyo neno olimpada itamusumbua. Kama utakuwa spiritual connected. Iyo neno mepada tu. Ata kuwa kikunyua pobe tu. Ata wegini atalia kiwa kwa kitada na mwanaume. Analia tu mkimaliza tu mnachuka hapo. Anazima uuuu. Ile neno li na msubua Sababu mutumishu wa mungu Wali mukonect Kwa ufalme wa mungu Na the end of the day Hata heda hata hokoka Na hata hauta muona wewe Haa Uki muona utakuwa na kiburi Hata heda kanisa igine Lakini siku moja biguni Utaona ukiitu ukiabiwa Kwa doza hako ni hizo Haa mama Haa Udieta wapi Tagusiku hilo liniobea Nilisubuka sana sana Lakini niliokoka Sasa nilikuwa nasoma kanisa ya mwangi Nilikuwa nasoma kanisa ya Jeni wajiko Oh mefauru Ya niku hapa binguni Tukupa moja Number seven Is helping the nidri Without expecting payback Kusaidia watu Pasipo kutaka kujua Pasipo kutaka kulipua The people I'm helping here I don't need any reward from them I don't need anything from them I don't help them to become my church member No, 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 no Kama nikekua hivyo nikekua nimevujika Sabu naweza kuwasaidia Ure nilipatia gari Ure nilipatia hii Ure nilipatia hii I don't help them because I want Anything from them Help them Uwasaidie pasipo kutaka kulipua Sababu sisi wa ubiri tutaku saidia Mana tuataka uwe mshirika wetu Lakini nawezekana kwa kiro uwe si mshirika wangu We ni mshirika wa pasta uyu Mana manene yagu mimi yako juu ya yako Ukija hapa kwa gu nitakuwa tu na kukemea tu For no reason Umefanya vizuri umewanda ni metoa mtu ije Nimetoa mtu ije, who can do that? Uwezi fanya hivi owe pastor? Uta hukumika, today is Sunday. Uwezi fanya hivi yo tu? Wanadikaka party, don't try this at home. But mimi ninaona ananikoa samana, ninaogea na analala, na niasubui. EC deliverance case. Help the needy, wakambeba mtu wabaye. Wakampereka juu, wakapadisha ye sababu ye hawezi. Kubuka ninaogea how to become God vessel. Kusaidia watu. Simon Petero akafika pale. Akakuta mutu wabaye. Anakaaka hapo wakiobaoba. Kuna watu wamefugu wa kiroho. Simon Petero akamuagalia, akamabia. Sina feather, sina dhahabu. Lakini kile nikonacho nitakupatia kwa jina na Yesu simama. Yaka simama. Simone Petro haku mwabia nipatia kengotole Nina inua mitume sasa Na inua matumishu wa buwana mbao Watakuja nyuma yangu Wigine intawaona kabla niyondoke Watu wa bao watakuwa na mungu dani yao Watu wa bao watakuwa matajiri Hawata eda wakichaga shaga pesa na kamukebe Hawata eda wakioba waba ashirika kukwa nyumba zao kwa subua Shida zao sitajulikana na mungu peke yake Mutawana na mutawatabua Sababu wakisha kuwa connected to the kingdom of God There will be no worry in their heart What to eat And what to drive God will feed them Before the day Kabla mwaka kuanzisha 2019 Amewa jaza the whole year Every Ikifika mwezi huo Kile program imetajwa inashuka Mutawana 
Saa hizi amwezi mkawaona kwa sababu it's too young. Watch how wako shule watoke. Watch how mnaona wanakuja na some of you. Ninaogea how to become a god vessel. Kitu ambacho Mungu anaweza akatumia. He akadiko na bebaga nako miwani. Hii miwani ni ya kusoma. Hii ni ya kusoma, hii inasoma lakini nusu ni kuona, mbali na nusu ni kusoma. Sasa God's vessel ni ka kitu kama haka ambako katabeba Mungu. Katabeba Mungu. Utakuwa chombo ambacho kitabeba Mungu. The end of the day Mungu atajua vile atafanya na wewe. Mungu hapana kama sisi binadamu. Binadamu anatumia mkebe, anatumia brubade, anachukua hiyo anaweka mafuta taa. Anatumia kifagio. The end of that kifagio na kitupa hapo. Mungu si kama hivyo. Atakapo kutumia hapa duniani atakuwa ameandaa makao yako mbinguni. Anapenda kukuona in the spirit. Anapenda kukuona Yesu mbele za baba akakiri. Kiseme when I was in the world this is my fruit. Yesu anasema sikuwa ita tu nimewachagua mwende mkazae matunda. Matunda yenu yapate kukaa ili mkiomba baba yetu wa mbinguni atawapeni. Ninapokubuka hii ploti ninapokubuka Jerusalem Kenya I can see the access of God's spirit It is my prayer that God will hold my departure until this house is builded It is my prayer that I will leave a strong legacy after my departure People will come and say that this man came from prison and this man was a lily man of God. He loved the people and he built here the place of worship. Ukiwa saidia wale wanahitaji number 7 bila kutaka malipo yao Mungu atakusaidia hapo mbele. Number 8 building the altar kujenga madhabahu yako Kuna vitu watu hawajui na kwa sababu hawajui imefanya kanisa limekuwa na umaskini. Wakati mtu ameona Mungu wakachiba visima, wakafukua visima zile Ibrahimu alikuwa ameachia mwanae. Maana wafrisi walizifukia zile visima. Maandiko yanasema wakafukua hawa wakaja wakangangania. Na walipoendelea kungangania wakafukua igine wakaja wakangania kisha ikapatikana kisima kimoja sasa hicho hawakuja kungangania isaka akamjengea bwana madhabahu hapo akaita hicho kisima freedom maana mungu ameonekana kuna watu mungu ameonekana na hawajategeneza kisima wakati jacob alikuwa amelala pale kwa ile jiwe akiwa amelala hapo akaona malaika Wa bwana akaja akangangana naye Jakobo alipoamka akasema hap akachukua mafuta alikuwa nayo akamimina pale akasema hii itaitwa nyumba ya Mungu Mnaona Mungu na mnaenda tu Mnaona Mungu na mnaenda tu Alipoona Mungu akasema hii itaitwa nyumba ya Mungu maana nimemuona Mungu hapa Na watu wanaweza kuja hapa. Wakaja hawana nyumba, hawana gari, hawana chochote. Na baada ya kubarikiwa, wakaondoka tu. Ata wasimujengee mungu nyumba. Ata wasingangane wafikishe mwisho mana. According to my understanding that that God has started will accomplish. God is not calling you for one year. God is not calling you for two years. He's calling you. I wish Mungu wabariki mpate 20 years. You will see what God will do here. I'm not sure, but I feel I can see this picture here. I 
I don't know how long it will take <clears throat> but this is my vision <clears throat> kuna zile agenda for the president na mimi agenda ya guni hii agenda for the president za government ya jubri na hii ndio ajenda yangu na government yangu ya binguni before my departure if god will change the the, the design I have no problem bwana kiniambia nitoe hiyo ndefu niweke ikiwa nyumba hivyo that's what i'll do na batisa is pay your tithe sababu nimeona watu wanatumiwa na shetani sababu watu kama hawatalipa tithe there will be no connection with them no one can connect you god to god wakati ibrahim walikutana na mercedeki mercedeki alipombariki ibrahimu ibrahimu akampatia 10% of everything chochote alichokuwa nacho tunaogea baba wetu wa imani alipokutana na mercedeki alimpatia after mercedeki kumbariki akamwambia ibrahimu ubarikiwa na mungu aliye juu kwa nini <coughs> amubariki na already washaogea na Mungu katika Genesis 12. Kwa nini aletwe kwa mtu mwingine kumbariki? Na Genesis 12 Mungu ashamwambia Ibrahimu toka wede nitakubariki wewe na uzao wako. Sasa anakuja kuhani wa hapa. Maana bigu inatoa lakini kisha toa inakuwa kwa mikono ya kuhani. Sababu so, there is no way Mungu anaweza akaja kwa watu wakiwa Mungu. Lazima apitie kwa Musa. Lazima apitie kwa Simoni Petro lazima apitie kwa mwili Yesu akija Ibrahimu akaabiwa na, na yule kuhani kuhani wa Mungu aliye juu atujui alienda wapi inasemekana hajulikani alienda wapi na alikuwa ni mfalme lakini hawajui alienda wapi akambariki Ibrahimu akamwambia ubarikiwe Mungu aliye juu akubariki na Ibrahimu akampatia fungu la kumi la kila kitu alichokuwa nacho. Sasa Ibrahimu akaanza safari yake. Nimesema mambo ya tai imerete spiritual death. Some of you are poor spiritually because you have mixed yourself. You are poor spiritually because you have mixed yourself. You have locked the spirit of development. Umeua roho ya kupata kwa sababu na kuichanganya uwezi kuwa na chuki na uwe na upendo uwezi kuwa na chuki na uwe na upendo pamoja basi utapenda leo kesho unachukia kile ulikuwa umependa utalete leo kesho uto. that's how you are doing 98% of you you are not a tither that's why you can see years and years you don't change now again a country zima now again the whole world ni tidi ni kitu ya kuweka ushirika na ulinzi wa mali yako ile umepata hii dunia tuko iko katika mikono ya shetani kwa hivyo kile kitu kizuri tunachukua tunaioshaga na 10% na Mungu anasema mlete tidi kwa nyumba yangu ili mali iweze kuweko hapa sasa mkioba hana shida Taithi si ya kufanya mtu atajirike taithi ni ya kulinda whatever is coming in taithi ni ya kuondoa magojwa in is of vitu pesa yako iwezi kuingia leo na itoke kesho umeenda mpaka umeuza tv mpaka umeuza kitada yako mpaka kwa nini kwa sababu once you don't tithe there is no protection akutakuwa na ulinzi wa kiroho kwa mali yako utakuwa nazo The end of the day utaenda India. Na hiyo utaenda India haitarudi. That will be the end. Utakufa na mali imekufa. Lakini ukiwa taitha kutako wako na ya India, kutako wako na ya hiyo na mali yako itabaki. Na bakumi katika yale mambo ambayo nimekutayarishia. Give your offering to God. Offering ni sadaka 
sadaka ambayo mtu anapia nako wakati Mungu amekuja ama yeye ameenda kwa Mungu umeenda kufanya ibada kufanyia jambo fulani ibada second summary 24 24 inasema Daudi alipoabiwa na ule kuhani wa Bwana aende akamtolee Bwana dhabihu alipofika pale alauna alimwambia chukua tu shaba bure lakini Daudi akasema siwezi kumtolea Bwana dhabihu sio ni garimu Daudi akatoa sadaka ya fellowship fellowship offering kisha akatoa ile ya kutanga ya kuteketeza sasa akaomba na Mungu akasikia maombi yake akamwambia malaika puguza mkono wako mpatie Mungu sadaka yako sadaka ya kufugua mlango sadaka ya kufugua communication sadaka ya kuwa accepted sadaka ya kuweka spiritual separation mimi si wale wamekuasi sadaka ya appreciation asante kwa macho asante kwa miguu asante kwa kuwa hai leo asante kwa sababu umeniokoa na dialysis na 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 kidinifiria asante kwa sababu umeniokoa na accident offering Na na moja how to become god vessel have a priest and respect him have a priest i dress like this so that this can help you to understand how the priest looks how he used to be kuwa na kuhani wako na umheshimu because is the person god comes through ye die husugumuza na mugu na ye die uchukua chochote unataka kupea mugu ye die atachukua na chochote unataka mugu akujibu ye atakujibu amepewa na uwezo amepewa uwezo na mugu kufugua hata kule bako haikuwa imeruhusiwa as long as amepedeswa na wewe this man has a power to speak in government to speak in to god elisha akamwambia yule mama mwambia na shida gani kwa mugu ama kwa serikali nitamuobea wakati sauli alianza kutafuta daudi daudi aliposikia mahali sauli yuko alipanda akachungulia akaita watu wake akawaambia nani ataenda na mimi Abishai akasema twende na wewe wakaenda the more Daudi alikuwa naenda the more wale walilala da- Saudi alikuwa na 3000 ame lakini wakati Daudi alifika pale alikuta wote wamelala wanangorota hata mmoja hata Saudi mwenyewe Daudi akachukua ile gudulia na akakata ile nguo akaenda alipoenda pale ndio waliamka sasa mfalme akauliza nani amekata nguo yangu na fimbo iko wapi Daudi akamwambia eh mfalme Angalia nguo yako ni hii imekata kama ningetaka kukuua singekuulia hapo hapo What am I showing you is a spiritual power Kama tugetumia as a church tugetumia spiritual power to get paralyze everything to get change even the offices Lakini sasa hatukutumia hiyo Dunia inakuja hapa Dunia inakuja nimewaona leo watu wanakuja weupe sijui ni wanchi gani utawaona tu namba moja have the priest and the respect him namba mbili worship god worship god and his son and the holy spirit have time to worship god to worship the holy spirit to tell the holy spirit thank you kwa sababu umekuwa mchungaji You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. Let me wind with the three points. 
Nataka nimalizie kwa vitu vitatu mjitayarishe tuingie kwa kuabudu Mungu. Mafundisho niko nayo ni mengi. Na ninaona kama I still have time. Nataka muombe Mungu ndio muweze kuwa na muweze kuwa na spiritual access muweze kuingia kwa Mungu muweze kuwa watumishi wake sababu kanisa liko naked the church is naked and that's why watu wanaenda kwa waganga wanaenda kwa fusion teller Namba 12 mstari wa sita tunataka kuangalia wale Mungu anataka kutumia. Namba 12 mstari wa sita inasema kisha akamwambia sikizeni basi maneno yangu. Akiwepo nabii kati yenu mimi bwana nitamfunulia kwake kwa maono nitasema naye katika doto sivyo ilivyo kwa mtumishi wangu Musa yeye mwaminifu katika nyumba yangu yote ninasema tuombe Mungu sababu kuna kazi ambayo haiwezi fanyika kwa sababu hatuna mtu wa kusimama hapa Joel 2 inasema Siku hiyo Bwana atamimina roho yako kwa wale watu wenye mwili. Wataweza kuona. Let me talk about that. Joel 2 number 28. Hata itakuwa baada ya hiyo ya kwamba nitamimina roho yangu juu ya <coughs> wote wenye mwili. <coughs> Wana wenu waume kwa wake watatabiri. Wasee wenu wataota doto na vijana wenu wataona maono <coughs> Ile shida tuko nayo sasa ni hiyo Hatuna vijana wa kuweza kuona waone kitu watowabie sababu vijana ndio wadogo wanaweza kuona kitu watowabie Kanisa liko naked kwa sababu hatuna watu wa kuona kuona ni vipawa ambazo hazijapata watu kuona naona 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 tuko na shida kwa sababu hakuna watu walio na kipawa cha kuona sasa huyu mtumishi wa Bwana yuko peke yake tu. Yeye ndiye ataona, yeye ndiye atatabiri, yeye ndiye ana everything. Kuwe na watu watakao kuja kwa Mungu, waombe Mungu kipawa cha kuona. Kuona. Tuwe na watu hata kama si wazee, lakini wakuweza kuota ndoto. nyama ina huyo ebu chukueni hiyo mesa ni kuonesha maono <coughs> shikania hiyo mesa mshike tu muinue kama kuinua juu simama hapo kuwe na watu wanaweza kuwa na maono ninaona watu wawili wameinua mesa naona watu wawili wameinua mesa na ni kama wanakuja hapa sasa watu hao wakiona ikiwa mbele watakuwa na uwezo wa ku divert i command pitieni huko i command pitia huko kabisa enda hivyo enda kabisa hivyo enda kabisa enda kabisa enda 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 kabisa enda weka hapo na uiweke upside down watu wenye maono wanaweza kuona something to come to 2022 
what is planned by outsider you can have it now because it is already done in the spirit something wrong is coming you can change rudisha mesa pale watu wenye maono wakiweko kazi itakuwa rahisi kazi itakuwa rahisi enda pale rudisha mesa na usimame hapo toka pale rudi pale ulikuwa hii kazi ikipata mtu atakuwa na uwezo amka nyamai na wewe amka na watuma mwende kwa ile mesa muipidue upside down in the name of Jesus Eda mkae rudini kwa mwili Ni spirit itakuwa kwa watu but I can send the spirit I can command them to go and do that and come back to their body Is a spiritual matter I can talk to Maina in Mombasa I can talk to Bishop Muturi. I can talk to Bishop Bernard Kisumo. Na dio naona wale wamekomaa akisimama kuhubiri anasema Mungu wa mtumishi wako. Mungu wa especially Nigerian. Whenever they minister they will acknowledge the presence of their fathers. Na Mungu anakuja hivyo. anamwambia Isaka mimi ni Mungu kwa baba yako mimi ndiye Mungu nilie kutokea mimi ndiye Mungu nilitokea baba yako that's why is god of abraham isaac and jacob we can't jump that sasa kukiwa na watu hapa ambao wako na roho nzuri watu ambao hawana umalaya watu ambao hawashubuki na pornography hawashubuki na physical body wanajichuga wataanza kuona wataanza kuona something to come Joseph alikuwa kijana mdogo na ndio nimetengeneza hiyo guo nivalisha watu lakini anaweza kuona mganda wake akasema nimeota jana mganda moja inasukuka mganda wangu The church is so naked. Kuwe na watu wa kuweza kutabiri. Simameni wale vijana wawili simama. Mwende pale kwa hii kuna mesa iliwekwa upside down. Mungu anasema igeuzwe vile ilikuwa inakaa. Kuna mesa ambayo ilikuwa imewekwa upside down. Mungu maana shetani amekibia katika spiritual world amebadilisha vitu zilikuwa ziwe hivi ameziweka hivi sasa hawa watu wa kutabiri watu wa kuona wanaona watu wa kutabiri wanatabiri shikeni hiyo mesa natabiri kuna mesa mpya inakuja lete hiyo mesa natabiri kuna mesa mpya inakuja natabiri kuna mesa mpya inakuja weka hapa Natabiri kuna viti biri, enda utavute viti. Natabiri kuna viti biri zinakuja katika jina la Yesu. Si watu waseme amen. Natabiri kuna viti biri zinakuja. Natabiri kuna viti biri zinakuja. Kalieni. Ninaona manabii wawili wamekalia viti kwa ile mesa. Ninaona manabii wawili wamekalia ile viti. Haleluya. Wakati imenenwa hivi Lo wa Mungu anaenda anachukua wale manabii kwanza analete ile mesa imetabiriwa Kutabiri is granted you give permission to happen Kuona is to see vision Nikaambia watu ninaona ninaenda Nimewaambia ninaona wasugu leo nimeona wasugu wamekuja watu weupe I don't know from this which nation Watu wa kutabiri ni watu wa kutoa vitu kule ziko na kuzilete zitendeke. 
Natabiri watu wataponywa. Natabiri piwete watatebea. Natabiri. Uyo mtu wakiwa na hiyo hivyo amesema that's what will happen. Uyo mwenye kuponya pasa akija hata kama hana gift ya hearing atatumia ile inenwa na yule mtu. Rudisha pale. Weka tu hapa karibu hapa. Unyango kuja, kuja. Kuja na wewe. Weka tu hapa. Nyama ilala, we lala. Doto. Doto. Nyama hii anaota na kiti. Perekea ya kiti. Anaota na kiti. Tony anaota, anaota na mesa ya white. Amelala akiota na mesa ya white. Sengu padile. Tony amelala akiota jana. Amesubuka na mesa ya white. Songa. This is what is the dream. Hii diyo na hitu wa doto. Kuota ni kutafiri huku na kuchukua na kulete. Doto unachukua wherever it is ziko. Inazirete hapa. Ata kama ziko miaka yurufu gapi. Doto is another person goes and bring that. Amuka, kalia kiti yako Na we kalia mesa yako Utawaba mkule utapata kiti Kalia mesa yako This is the power of dreams Kanisa likiwa na waze Na sila zima wae waze vile munafikiria Watu walio na wezo wakuota Sasa the problem we have Ni people who can become Watu wabawa wanaweza kutumika kwa hiyo. Watu wabawa wanaweza kutumika kuota. Sasa wataotaji doto na wameshida na pornography. Wataotaji na wameshida na masegenyo. The whole day. Kumegeuza madhabahu yako imekua ya mchene. Kumegeuza nyuba ya mungu imekua ni nyuba ya masegenyo. Na wewe ni muhubiri. Na umegeuza noho yako imekua makao ya umbua mwitu. Unajua fulani, unajua fulani, unajua fulani, sijui nganga si wa mugu. Wea bae kila kitu ukiona, your first thinking is the devil. Mawazo ya kwanda yako ni shetani tu, uwezi kuona mugu. Kila mali ukienda, wazo lako la kwanda tu ni shetani. Basi easy vipawa zijapata watu. That's why God's visitation it is so limited. Imekua kidogo sana. Sababu watu wakuota hawako Half time with God Meditate God The more you give time to meditate God Spirit Then God will dwell in you And you will dwell in God And God will continue Modifying you slowly slowly Until you become what he wants If he wants you to be that then once you have decided and make that remember zile vitu zote nimekufundisha 12 how to become god's vessel sasa dio kanisa iweze kuwa na gufu lazima kuwe na watu wanaona mungu akamwambia wale watu kama kuna manabii naogeaga naye kupitia doto Akasema kuna watu mungu wanaogea nao to only through dreams. Inuwa mkona yako. Sema ini buwana yesu. Mwana wa mungu. Nifungulie doto. Nifungulie maono. Useme nami kwa neno lako. 
somebody say I receive somebody say I receive somebody say Lord Jesus somebody say Lord Jesus I am here because I believe you somebody say Lord Jesus I agree with your word somebody say Lord Jesus I confess you are the Lord you are my master somebody say Lord Jesus I'm receiving now all that I had from you I'm receiving now somebody say Lord Jesus I am ready to pay the price to learn and to understand inua mikona kusemeni buwana yesu mwana wa mungu nina kuamini nimekubari ninakili nimepokea nitalipa garama na nitasoma asanti yesu
Thank you.